Welcome. Linear motion cases C mathematics 2013 paper 1 question number 20. Two towns A and B are 80 kilometers apart. Juma started cycling from town A to town B at 10 a.m. at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Mutuko started his journey from town B to town A at 10:30 a.m. and traveled by car at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. A. Calculate 1. The distance from town A when Juma and Motoko met, 5 marks. 2. The time of the day when the two met, 2 marks. Part B. Kamau started cycling from town A to town B at 10.21 a.m. He met Motuko at the same time as Juma did. Determine Kamau's average speed. So that is the question. Uh, let's go to the first part of the question. First part of the question. And uh, the first part of the question, we are supposed to calculate the distance from town A when Juma and Motuko met. So let me draw something here that is going to help us to answer this question. So we given the distance between uh, towns A and B is 80 kilometers then we have juma and motuko so juma is um, traveling from a to b then uh, motuko is uh, traveling from b to a so these two will help us work out so that is uh So we have uh, the question that Juma started cycling from town A to B at 10 a.m. So here we have Juma. So Juma is here. And Juma started uh, cycling at 10 a.m. At uh, the speed was uh, 40 kilometers per hour. 40 kilometers per hour. And... Um, Heading in this direction from A to B. Then Juma, uh, no, this is Motuko. This is Motuko, is traveling from B to A. So this direction. And uh, he started the journey at 10.30 a.m. The speed is 60. He's using a speed of 60 kilometers per hour so we are supposed to determine the distance from town a when juma and motuko met so to answer that we're going to let the distance from a to the meeting point uh, to be represented by letter x so let's say this is the meeting point this is where they meet so assuming they meet at this point uh, we will let this distance from A to the meeting point to be represented by X kilometers. And since we have the total distance from A to B as 80 kilometers, so the other distance from B to the meeting point will be 80 subtract X kilometers. Now that is the distance uh, Motuko traveled to the meeting point. That is 80 minus X. Then the distance traveled by Juma from A to the meeting point is X kilometers. Now having these, uh, we will start by calculating the time taken in order to meet. Time taken in order to meet by Juma and Motuko. So what was the time spent by Juma from A to the meeting point? How do we get time? So time... Uh, that is by Juma, the meeting point. Uh, we get time by taking distance divided by the speed. So here you're going to take the distance as X kilometers. Then um, the speed is 40 kilometers per hour. That is the time taken by Juma from A to the meeting point. Then all about uh, time taken by Motuko. Motuko. Motuko from B to the meeting point, that distance is 80. 
subtract x kilometers then we divide by the speed the speed which is 60 kilometers per hour so having these two times we'll be able to get that distance from a to the meeting point and how do we do that we are going to look at the time difference between the two uh, i want you to be very keen here and check juma started the journey at 10 a.m the journey at 10 a.m then mutuko started the journey at 10 30 so you can see there's a difference of 30 minutes which is uh half an hour so meaning uh since juma left earlier than mutuko then Juma will spend a half an hour more. So when I get the difference in time taken by Juma and Motuko to the meeting point, I will get uh, 30 minutes. So that means if I take time taken by Juma from A to the meeting point, which is uh, X divided by 40, and then I subtract time taken by Motuko, uh, from B to the meeting point, that is um, 80 subtract X divided by 60. This one should give me 30 minutes. The difference in time, eh? Juma started at 10, then um, Mutuko started at 10.30. So you can see there's a difference of 30 minutes, which is equivalent to half an hour. Now, when I work out this equation, I solve this equation, I'll be able to get the value of X, which will give me the distance that is required. So let us solve this one very fast. So to solve these, uh, we shall get the LCM. We start by getting the LCM. Uh, the LCM of uh, 40, 60, and 2, the denominator. And uh, when you get the LCM, use a calculator to do that. When you get the LCM, this will simply give um, 120. The LCM is 120. So from there, I will multiply each term by that LCM. So X divided by 40. That one, I multiply it by 120. Then subtract 80 minus X divided by 60. I multiply that one by 120 is equals to a half. Multiply by 120 like that. So when you multiply out each term by 120, uh, this is what you're going to get. So by 41, by 43, so by 61, by 62, by 21, by 2, uh, 60. So I put 3 times x, here you get 3x, subtract 2 times uh, 180, this will give negative 160. Here you need to be very careful, negative, negative, multiply by negative x times 2, we get a positive 2x when you open this bracket then is equals to 60 like terms together this one will give uh, 5x is equals to so you get 5x is equals to this will give uh, 220 220 then x will be divide both side by 5 and this one will give uh, 220 divided by 5 will give a uh, 44 kilometers so that is how we get x and remember that x was the distance from a to the meeting point and that is actually what the question is asking us to get so we've now answered the question the distance from a to the uh, when juma and motuko met so the meeting point is there so the distance from a to the meeting point is x kilometers and these are uh, is 44 44 kilometers so the other one will be 80 uh, subtract 44 and this one will give uh, 30 36 kilometers now from b to the meeting point now after getting that you can go to the second part of the question the time of the day when the two met to the time of the day when the two met so answering that one is quite easy uh, part b the time they met so just look at um, from A, we're going to use uh, from A. We can either decide to work it from A to the meeting point or from B to the meeting point. So from A, uh, Juma had traveled 44. The distance is uh, 44 kilometers. So distance is uh, 44 kilometers. Then the time taken 
Uh, so to get the time taken, how do you get time? Time is given by distance over the speed. So it is given by distance divided by the speed. And uh, since we are moving from A, uh, we're going to use the speed of Juma. The speed of Juma. So that is uh, 40 kilometers per hour. So distance is 44 kilometers. Then the speed is 40 kilometers per hour. So distance is uh, 44 kilometers divided by 40 kilometers per hour. The speed and this one will give um when you divide this you'll get the answer in hours so you get 11 over 10 so 11 over 10 hours which is uh, equivalent to one hour and six minutes one hour and six minutes so now what we've got is um, the time taken from a to the meeting point now we can also get it uh, from the other end from b to the meeting point from b to the meeting point and uh, when you work it out the time taken from b to the me meeting point uh from b to the meeting point that is a motuko travel 36 kilometers so that was the distance is 36 kilometers then the speed uh motuko speed is a uh, 60 kilometers per hour so 60 kilometers per hour so time taken will be given by distance which is uh, 36 kilometers divided by the speed which is 60 kilometers per hour so when you work out this you'll get simplify this you get 60 divided by uh, this is um 6 by 6 divided by 10 one hour and this will translate to 36 minutes so that is the time taken from B to the meeting point. The first one is time taken from A to the meeting point is one hour, six minutes. Now, getting the time of the day when the two met, we can also work it out from either side. So from A to the meeting point, uh, from A, the journey started from A at 10 a.m. Juma started at 10 a.m. A, so 10 a.m. So we add the time taken for meeting that is uh, one end six, one hour and six minutes so the meeting time was 11.06 a.m. When you work it out from the other side from B you will also get um, you just take uh, at B Motuko started at 10.30 so 10.30 a.m. and then you add 36 minutes this will give 11.06 am as well so from either side from either side you'll be able to get the correct answer so you can work it uh, out uh, the first one a the first uh, method from a to the meeting point then this one is from b to the meeting point and the answers will be the same now the last part of the question part b come out started cycling from town a to town b at 10 21 a.m he met motuko at the same time as juma did determine kamau's average speed so we're going to the first thing we're going to calculate is the time taken by kamau to the meeting point because he met motuko at the same time as juma did and juma met motuko at what time we've just calculated that uh, that was uh, given by uh, 11 06 a.m so if a Kamau met Motuko at the same time as Juma did, then it means he started the journey at 10.21 a.m. and met Motuko at 11.06. So we need to get the time difference. Uh, so time, this is a part C. So time taken by Kamau, that is uh, from uh, 10.21 to 1106 so we just need to subtract so 1106 subtract 1021 and this one will give uh, 45 minutes so this is the time taken by Kamau from A to the meeting point and we know something else the distance from A to the meeting point distance from a to the meeting point is given by x and that is a 44 kilometers so distance 
So distance from A to the meeting point will be 44 kilometers. So now getting the Kamau's average speed will be very easy because uh, we just need to get the speed given by distance over the time taken. And distance is 44 kilometers divided by time taken, which is 45 minutes and 45 minutes we can convert this on uh, this is the same as three quarters of an hour so that is the same as three quarters of an hour so we can divide this on by uh, three quarters of an hour so working out this uh, 44 kilometers divided by three quarters which is the same as 0 0.75 uh, this will give 58 58 and uh, 2 thirds. 44 divided by 0, 3 over 4. These are 2 thirds. 2 thirds kilometers per hour. So that is the solution for part C. And that is how you're supposed to solve that question.